What's up and welcome to another episode of Gizmo Slip Tech. Today we're talking about the Asus Tough A16. This is one of Asus's most budget-friendly laptops being announced here at CES 2024. Now I got hands-on with the A16 at the New York event. I'll probably get hands-on with it again here at CES, but I want to make an overview video we're talking about all the changes, improvements, specs, and what I think about this laptop overall uh, based on my initial impressions. Now, I'd love to do a detailed overview unboxing, but we'll see if I'm able to do that. But uh, either way, subscribe for all of the new laptop content that I'll be making in 2024. Thank you so much for all your support. It does mean a lot to me. Now, the Asus Tough lineup usually falls within the more budget to mid-range pricing depending on the specs and this laptop the a16 does have some pretty high end specs especially for the potential budget combination that we're talking about here so uh the the most special feature about the new asus top a16 is going to be the ryzen 9 7485 hx which is a 12 core 24 thread cpu which is a bonkers super powerful cpu for a more budget mid-range laptop. I mean, these are all 12 fat performance cores, uh, and it is it is a previous gen, in, theoretically, because the new 8000 series is coming out in 2024, so this is a 2023 CPU, but it is a much more powerful CPU than your average one, which is gonna make this excellent for things like video editing, uh, anything that's very, uh, can take advantage of all of those performance cores, because that is gonna be a ton of CPU performance for those of you that need that. Okay, so the uh, the Asus Tough A16 comes in two colors, Mecha Gray and Jaeger Gray. Not much of a difference based on the pictures Asus provided. Now the laptop itself is made from plastic with a metal top lid, and it overall feels very sturdy and a very nice uh, build in my opinion. The keyboard does have a nice feel to it, though it is a softer membrane keyboard. It does have a number pad, which I think is going to be very important for those of you that deal with a lot of numbers. Um, and typing those out and the the touchpad is glass and it's a very large touchpad which is great considering most more budgety laptops don't have uh, a lot of these nicer um, features like a glass touchpad like almost all of the budget laptops in 2023 had plastic touchpads so this is nice overall because uh, this is the tough series that means it goes through military durability testing uh, to some degree i'm not sure exactly but it definitely should be more durable than your average gaming laptop, allowing you to take it uh, around in college or work or maybe to more extreme environments if you do like, I don't know, backpacking in the winter time or something, I don't know. But it is certified for colder and hotter temperatures compared to your normal laptop. Now there is a basic webcam, but no Windows Hello support. You do have Advanced Optimus, which is gonna allow you to quickly switch between the integrated GPU and the dedicated GPU. And it does come with a 165 Hertz, 2560 by 1600 resolution display. I do not know the color gamut on it, but it's probably close to 100% sRGB. I don't think it's gonna be an ultra high color gamut display, otherwise Asus would probably advertise that. Now, the ports on this are moderate. They're not like scarce, but they're also not the ultra highest quality ports ever as well because this is a Ryzen based platform. So there is no Thunderbolt 4 support, which is gonna mean no eGPU support. Now you can use 100 watt power delivery to charge the laptop, uh, or you can use like, you know, power uh, delivery docks, like USB-C power delivery docks if you want. Um, so there's a lot of flexibility with the ports. Let's go over them in a little more detail. On the right side, you have one USB-A 3.2. On the left side, you have an Ethernet port, HDMI 2.1, one USB-C 4 port, which theoretically has the same uh, throughput and feature spec as a Thunderbolt 4, but just without the certification. Now you have one USB-C 3.2 with 100 watts of power delivery and display port support, one USB-A 3.2 and a headset combo port. Now I really wish there was another USB-A or USB-C here. Now pairing with the Ryzen 9 7485 hx is the RTX 4070, up to the RTX 4070. I'm not sure if there's gonna be any lower end GPU models that you can pair with this, but it should be theoretically up to the 140 watt power limit of the 470 but realistically it only really goes up to like you know 110 watts maybe of usable power 
Um, the RAM speed is DDR5 5200, which is a bit lower than DDR5 5600 in a lot of the laptops for 2024. Unless it's a very memory sensitive application, it really won't make that big of a difference. Uh, really the, the primary pro to this system is the 12 core 24 threads. Um, like the only applications I would think the memory speed might impact a little bit is gonna be something like maybe Warzone 2 or other very memory sensitive games, uh, though the impact will probably still be fairly minimal even in those games. Now, overall, the ASUS Tough A16 looks to be one of the very best budget laptops in 2024, especially for those of you that want big fat performance cores and lots of them at hopefully a very reasonable price. I don't have official pricing on the ASUS Tough A16 yet, but once I have it, I will be adding it to my gaming laptop list for 2024, which is linked down below. If you want to check that out, there's all kinds of, uh, basically every single laptop that you can possibly buy will be on that list, including all of the new ones announced in 2024. So thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss out on all of the laptop coverage for CES 2024. And of course, all of the reviews coming out in 2024 as well. Thank you so much for your support. I'll see you in the next one. Brandon out. Huzzah.